Hi guys, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, I have something pretty neat to show you. It's different from most of the other videos I do. It is a kind of like a product review, I guess. Um, it's this guy right here. Some of, you, uh, some of you may recognize it. It's the Tether Tools Air Direct. And the reason why I would be talking about hardware, which is something I kind of try to stay away from, uh, mainly because we, we're not able to offer support on hardware. We're a software company, but uh, and there's a lot of stuff out there that works really well with our software, and I, I would love to talk about it, but we're limited. So the Tether Tools Air Direct, why is it so awesome? Well, it makes your computer think that your camera is connected directly to it. That's what makes it real cool. This camera has Wi-Fi built into it, so I can take pictures and send them to my computer, but I'm not able to use uh, Live View, and I'm not able to control the camera from my computer. Well, this guy lets that happen, and this guy doesn't have Wi-Fi on it, but it can do the exact same thing. All you do is, let's go ahead and power it on and see it in action. Um, so we'll turn on both, and what we're going to do is, let's jump into my computer, and it's broadcasting a Wi-Fi signal. My computer can see that. So where am I, computer? I am going to connect to the network that's being broadcast from that guy, and um, whenever you first get it, I'll kind of show you what it comes with. It's got this cool case, which is just pretty cool. Um, comes with different cables to connect different cameras, um, a charger, looks like a couple batteries, um, another cable to charge the batteries, um, and this is the part that I want to show you. You can see it's already connected. That's all I had to do. Um, has the instructions, and they're. It's an easy read. You don't really have to read them. Um, so you connect to the Wi-Fi. First time you connect, the password is one two three four five six seven eight, and um, and you install the uh, utility from Tether Tools, the AD, ADU utility, which I have on my computer right there, and. Um, if you go into Windows, you will see that there's my 6D right there. The computer thinks it's actually connected. So why this is real, real helpful, let's jump into Booth. You have to be able to control the camera in order to use Darkroom Booth. So we have to have it inside, be visible inside um, this PC. So other Wi-Fi adapters will not work like this, most others. Um, and if I go into darkroom booth, I can see there's my camera. If I start the booth, you, you'll be able to see me on live view. But as you can see, there is no wires with the exception of that one. So that is super helpful. I'm not going to move it too much because my office is my office is dirty, dirty. Um, let's go ahead and exit out of that. So this is going to be helpful for people that want to put their camera in a weird position um, and to be able to run their booth, let's say from above and have the cam the pictures take from above. Um, you don't have to worry about wires and running all those weird wires uh, and, uh, for safety reasons. Um, but who the people that are really gonna like this are the ones that are um, building the 360 booths You can't use a 360 booth and have a wire connecting to your camera because eventually you're gonna wrap somebody up like a mummy with wires um, so That is I think why one good reason why this is so awesome um, but for you core edition users it works the same way, it's just that easy. Once you're connected to it, you start up Darkroom Core Edition and 
I have it set to look for uh, a camera automa uh, automatically, or I thought I did. We'll go ahead and detect it. There's my 6D. If I go to my photo workshop, take a picture, I probably don't need it to ask me about file naming. Uh, we'll go ahead and do automatic. Let's try that again so you guys see just how, how cool this is. So if I had a printer connected, sorry about my squeaky chair. I typically try to not squeak so much, but I'm moving more than normal. Um, I can be printing as soon as I take that picture, it will start printing. And uh, I could be a roaming photographer and take pictures and tell people, hey, go pick up your pictures. Um, they're over by the print table. So. I know this video is a little bit different from the other videos I, I typically create and I'm just curious if this is something that you guys would like to see more of. Um, not making any promises that this is something that I'll be able to continue doing because it gets away from support but if it helps you use our software better that's uh, that's my job. So if it's something that you'd like to see more of uh, leave a comment on this video on YouTube. Uh, let me know what you want to learn more about in this kind of realm and No promises, but I'll see what I can do. I'll do my best to get you guys what you're looking for uh, But once again, this is the tether tools air direct. I Just got to start playing with it. Um, I borrowed it so it is awesome I highly recommend it, but once again is not something that we're able to offer support on. So keep that in mind whenever you call and say, hey Eugene, I know you've played with it, tell me how it works. That's not something we're able to help with, but Tether Tools has always been awesome. Every time I talk to them, they are wonderful to work with. So highly recommend it. I hope this has been helpful. Until next time, you guys stay safe. Squeaky, squeaky. Hi, it's me again. If this video has been helpful, be sure to check out one of our other videos just like this one. And if we've earned it, please consider subscribing. This lets us know people are out there watching our videos and it's making their job and their life just a little bit easier. Please consider subscribing right over here.